Coca-Cola results just coming out moments ago. Uh, Coke reported adjusted quarterly profit of 44 cents a share. That was right in line with what the street was expect expecting. Revenue did come in above estimates. That stock initially was up by about 1.1 percent. Right now it's trading down by a penny. Of course, this is all very early trading with the pre-market. But Sarah Eisen just spoke with the CEO. She joins us right now with more details on the quarter. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Becky. 7% organic revenue growth, certainly the highlight of this report. And the only caveat there is there was one extra shipping day. So perhaps that was a little bit exaggerated. James Quincy, CEO of Coca-Cola, characterized the quarter as good. Also, this was their fourth quarter. So he said we had a big year in terms of share grains, and we've got the momentum for a pretty solid 2020. The company also providing that guidance for 2020, saying 5% organic revenue growth is where we want to be. And that is above where Coke has been over the last, you know, five, ten years. It's marked a big improvement over the last year and is set to continue into 2020. I did ask Quincy about the coronavirus. Obviously, they've got a big business in terms of consumers and also bottlers in China. Uh, he said that there are employees that are home, but it's too early to tell how big of an issue it will be. They didn't really put a number around how many plants were closed or anything like that. He said the key is we are still continuing to run manufacturing operations in China despite the closures and the disruption. As far as what's working at Coca-Cola right now and driving this kind of growth, Coke, brand Coke, is actually, he said, having one of its best years, and that's being driven by Coke Zero. Double-digit gains they continue to see for Coke Zero Sugar quarter after quarter. That's the number one driver of brand Coke. The number two is Coke Coffee, which has entered a lot of markets and has done very well for them. Uh, they're also excited about Coke Energy, which they're going to feature in the Super Bowl this weekend. But overall, guys, on the macro outlook, Quincy said there's still a heightened degree of rumbling, whether it's Brexit or trade tensions. But overall, he feels that Coke has proven over the last year it's in a good place to execute and continue what he called uh, – pretty boring results, which is maybe why the market is taking it up and down and, and sort of little changed right now.